Hi, my name is Susanna, and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious holiday cake roll from the Kraft Kitchens. If you're looking for a show-stopping dessert to impress your guests this holiday season, this recipe is for you. So to start, in my bowl I have four egg whites, and I'm going to beat them on high speed until foamy. Now gradually add a third cup sugar and continue beating until stiff peaks form. To achieve maximum volume when beating your eggs, Separate them when they're cold, then bring them to room temperature before using as directed. Now we'll beat four egg yolks in a large bowl on high speed until blended. Gradually add in the remaining granulated sugar and continue beating until the mixture is thick and lemon colored. Now add in one tablespoon of vanilla, three quarters of a cup of flour, and a half teaspoon of magic baking powder, and continue to mix. Add the egg white mixture to your egg yolk mixture and whisk gently just until blended. Now spread the mixture onto the bottom of a 15 by 10 by one inch baking pan that's been sprayed with cooking spray, lined with wax paper, and sprayed again with cooking spray. Bake at 400 degrees for eight to 10 minutes or until the cake springs back when touched in the center. After the cake was baked, I immediately inverted it onto a clean kitchen towel sprinkled with a quarter cup of icing sugar and then carefully removed the wax paper. Then, starting at one short side, roll up the cake and the towel together, then place it on a wire rack to cool completely. Meanwhile, microwave three ounces of Baker's semi-sweet chocolate in a microwavable bowl for two minutes on high or until the chocolate is melted. Let it cool slightly. Meanwhile, mix until blended half a package of softened Philadelphia brick cream cheese and the rest of your icing sugar. Add the melted chocolate and mix well. Gently add in one and a half cups of thawed Cool Whip whipped topping. Next, add one ounce of semi-sweet chocolate and a half cup of whipped topping to a microwavable bowl and microwave on high for 45 seconds. Once melted, stir until blended. Now, unroll the cake onto the towel, spread the cream cheese mixture onto the cake, and then re-roll it. If you have cracks in your cake, don't worry about it. The cream cheese mixture will hold it together Place the filled cake seam side down on a platter. I've sprinkled mine with a bit of icing sugar. And now we'll top it with our chocolate glaze. Finish up by garnishing with a half cup of fresh raspberries and a quarter cup of fresh mint leaves. Try this one. I'm sure your holiday guests will truly enjoy it. For more great recipe ideas and cooking tips, 